Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and today we are going to be working on the very first home in my witchy neighborhood on Nightshade. It's going to be just to the right of resident services. I placed this bridge during my last speed build and it leads into this area, which I felt like didn't even need that much terraforming adjustment. So this is where I'm going to put the house. I wanted to go ahead and outline it so we could visualize as I'm building. But honestly, I don't do a ton of you know, editing to the natural cliffs that are already here. A lot of these are just how my map came. I do edit the water. I do make a little waterfall. Don't even worry. Don't worry. If you love my speed builds for the terraforming, I will be doing a cute little waterfall for this one too. But I'm mostly just working around what I've got. I even managed to make this incline to the right of where I am now fit in, and that wasn't even in the plan. So honestly, kind of a legend for that. I hope that you enjoy the vibes here. I will pop in as I have things to contribute, but mostly I'm going to be filling in this space. This ended up being a kind of chaotic speed build because I was going back and forth. Also, this area behind where the house is going to be, I wanted to make related to Rattle. So Rattle is the doctor, right? That goes without saying. That's his like villager design. I wanted the area behind to be kind of a medicinal meadow sort of vibe so like somewhere he could go to scavenge his little you know herbs and stuff for his potions he's a witch doctor you know what i mean so uh, i'll get into that too but i'm going to be making that into a like glowing moss sort of magical meadow vibe you're gonna like it you're gonna like it okay enjoy me trying to fill in this space in a way that feels authentic to our doctor villager I've also really tried to incorporate different color themes already, so you might remember from the first build that I really focused on having red around. There were red flowers, red star fragments. My theme for this build is green. I felt like that would be perfect for the glowing moss area back here, which is what I'm starting on now. I'm just making a little pond, and then I'm going to add in some glowing moss, just things to make it feel more magical, you know. So the theme overall for this build, which I also feel like fits Rattle as a frog, is green. Um, I definitely want to incorporate as many colors as possible. I want to use a lot of the zodiac fragments, the star fragments, I mean, and um, yeah, I think it'll be really cute. Like, I want to put another villager back here. That's why I called it a villager neighborhood, even though I'm just working on Rattle's house today. I want to put, I think, Mary back here by this glowing moss area, so then she can have, like, the color pink. You know, she can be, she's like the good witch vibe, which I already said when I found her. That'll be perfect for her, you know, that'll be so cute. So yeah, I have really enjoyed already getting to get outside my comfort zone a little bit with the different colors that I'm using. I definitely recommend if you're feeling like you're kind of at a stopping point with Animal Crossing, not really sure what to do, try some different colors that you don't normally use in your builds. I have done like a lot of rainbow sort of things so that I can use all the different flowers, but I don't really focus whole areas on colors. Like obviously green is one of mine, but red I've never really worked with a ton. And like I've never used pink a lot outside of Happy Home Paradise. So I'm really excited to work on this island and use different colors. I know I, for one villager, I definitely want to have a dark purple theme, maybe the mine carts. It's going to be cute. I think this like island theme, even though I wanted to have it done by Halloween and we're on the second build and it's November, 
I don't want to hear it. Okay, I don't- it's been really hard getting all the items I need for this island. I'm sorry for- for overestimating my abilities here, but I do- I think it's gonna be so fun. I think the spooky theme is gonna be fine even though we're working on it through like fall probably into winter, let's be honest. I think it'll be fine. It's gonna be like a cute theme and you know now other people have stopped doing spooky builds so I can be your spooky provider. Halfway through the build, I was like, oh my goodness, I don't have any bushes. So I was gonna get some from Leaf and then I was like, no, I don't want the tea olive ones. I went to a Cap'n Island to harvest bushes and it was a it was on a fall island. So I did indeed end up just having the tea olive. Is that what is, I'm blanking on what those are called. They are tea olive bushes, right? Yeah. Yes, I wanted to use the yellow ones here. I felt like they would match with the green vibe, but I kept the orange ones too. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you'll see me place them on my island, just like in a little holding area in case I decide to do orange for a build. You know, you've got to think ahead. And I did, I was thinking ahead. The yellow ones I think did provide the little extra lushness I wanted for this build. Um, I have never actually like gone to scavenge from a Cap'n Island for bushes before, so this was an experience I definitely wish that I just had all the starts that I want, but here I am. Here I am not using Treasure Islands for some reason and just struggling. Um, yeah, I do love these bushes though, as it turns out. I didn't want them because I wanted all my bushes to not be in bloom, and I think that when I post the dream dress, it will be during this time of year, like late October. I just like the grass color for my theme, I don't know. So I was trying to think ahead, but sometimes you just gotta, you've just gotta roll with what you've got in the bushes. Surprised me. I wanted to have some sort of path leading away from Rattle's house toward the next house. So what I'm gonna put, where I'm gonna put Mary. And I might go back in and change this later. I used the dark dirt in-game path for now, just because I don't have any like single tile paths in my custom designs. So I might go back through later and make it like wood planks or something. I haven't decided yet, but I do think it's cute for now. I decorated it with some custom designs and I do like to have map like path showing on the map. I really wish custom designs could show up on the map so you could see that, you know, there's something placed there. So it is nice to have a little bit of in-game pathing. I might leave and I might not, but that's the concept. Over here is where Mary's house is gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and outline it so that I don't forget my plans. I don't think I would, but just in case. And I think it's gonna be super cute. Imagine this little area behind resident services having a pink villager space, a little good witch. It'll be super cute. So here is the main terraforming that I did for this build. I needed to get rid of all of this water up here that the map just came with so that I could make space for a waterfall. It's kind of like sunken because I do leave cliff in front of it, but it's open from the side so the rattle has access to this waterfall. Um, I, I think it came out really cute. I was working with super limited space since I did want to still have some cliffs in front for the incline to lead up to. It was a very small space to try to fit a waterfall into, and I'm kind of proud of how it turns out.
hope you're noticing and enjoying some of the struggles that I experience with terraforming. Like I keep thinking that there are spaces I can edit that I can't. Um, I never learn, actually, I don't learn. But I figured this space up here could maybe even be another villager home, maybe one of the shops up here. I don't really work anymore on that because it's kind of far away from my current build, but that's the idea, that's the concept. I do think everything is gonna be pretty easy to connect. I did obviously work off of my first build coming into the second one. Usually I kind of do builds all over the map and then make transition areas connecting them. I'm trying to transition immediately with these, you know, go straight from one build to the next. We'll see how long that lasts. Like obviously I did the plaza, then Rattle's house, then I can do Mary's house. I'll see what happens after that. But so far it's going really well. It's like super easy to connect them when you build off of each other instead of making them on separate parts of the island, I think. Right, and with that nightshade second build is ready. I'm super happy with it. I think it came out even cuter than I was expecting. I kind of went in with very few ideas and look, it leads so well off of the plaza. I think I've done a good job connecting it to the other ways out of here. I think Rattle's house is actually super cute. I haven't done Happy Home Paradise, but I will edit it later probably. I do think it fits already though, and I'm really happy with this little meadow back here too. Just a little private herb area for Rattle to get his his things his medicines he's so smart he doesn't need my help at all he's he's got this I think this turned out just super precious. I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this build and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I will see you all for Mary's house, I suppose. I'll see you later. Bye.